These are all really simple things in isolation, but together they <gasps> create that dead. kind of experience. Oh, oh, oh no, he's all right, so he's all right. Jesus, I thought Vondahar just disintegrated right in front of my eyes, disintegrated and died, just like our hopes of one good map in COD World War II. So on that subject, on the subject of World War II maps, Black Ops 4, as of today, has as much maps as World War II already announced, right? Well, when World War II had nine maps, not... So if you are hyped for Call of Duty to have more... to launch with more maps than Call of Duty 3 from 2005, you know, hit that subscribe button and whatnot. So sitting here making this video, I realise that pretty much every other YouTuber has already live-streamed this, already talked about this, or is going to make a video on this exact topic, right? Everyone is, because it's new. However, we're not just going to sit here like a boring-ass dumbass with no talent and just read as if we're, as if we're reading off a script. Because that's just... Everyone else to do that. You know, we're going to sprinkle memes along here. You know how we go out here at Phantomize Enterprises. We're going to try and stand out from the pack. We're out here trying to be entertaining. So my man Vondiha... Uh, Von, Vondiha? We'll go with it. We will go with it. My man's head is more powerful than a 500-ton nuclear warhead. You... Believe me. His head is powerful. And he, with his head, he's just headbutted Sledgehammer Games into a completely new dimension. Rest in peace. We'll never hear. We'll never hear from Sledgehammer ever again. They're dead. Black Ops 4 has just slapped Sledgehammer, slapped World War 2, and already outdone the nine maps. Well, they have nine maps announced, but we'll have more. Well, I damn hope so. Anyway, Michael Condry, I know you don't work on Call of Duty anymore. You left. Well, you got shoehorned out. And I know as you're listening to this video, you're scrubbing the underside of a toilet at Activision. Pack it up. Leave the universe, man. You've been outdone. You have been outdone. So we have firing range. I, I tr I'll try not to forget them. Firing range, slums, jungle, and... I, I, I forgot them. So we have a spicy piece of jungle from Black Ops 1 returning. Treyarch must have watched my video from earlier this week. Slums, summit of firing range, and Nuketown. <laughs> Nuketown? Big surprise, lads. Big surprise. Now, on the topic of Nuketown, they said it's going back to the Cold War vibe, so for Black Ops 1 Nuketown. But they said it's different, and it's not actually going to be there at launch. It's going to come to Black Ops 4 shortly after launch, so maybe that is a hint to the DLCs being changed up. D DLCs being changed up? So just, they watch my videos, I was just about to say Sledgehammer do, but I'd rather they back off. But Treyarch, Activision, cheers for subscribing, so lads. <laughs> but honestly, out of these four maps coming back, I don't think Treyarch could have picked some better things, you know. Summit, for example, I think that's the second best map behind my main man, Terminal. Terminal, I love you. Yeah, so I don't think they could have picked better maps to bring back. I'm a little sad, <laughs> very sad, I mean, <laughs> that there's no World at War maps. Uh, oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll phone them up, lads. We'll, we'll get some we'll get some World at War maps after this video, don't you worry. Vondiha is watching... Von, why do I keep saying Vondiha? That's not a thing. Vondiha is watching this video as you do, so. World at War maps on the way, you know, Macon Castle, they're on the way. And then our zombies lad, Jason Blundell, saying that he could not be at the live stream because they are working on a special project to be revealed later on. Maybe at E3, a week, uh, less than a week away now? Special project for zombies, uh, a fourth map, a bonus map, uh, another mode? A game mode? What, what could this, what could it be? Zombies has already blown our expectations out of the water, so yeah, Black Ops 4, damn isn't it good to be hyped, damn doesn't it feel good. Yeah, yes it does, so stay spicy my friends, stay saucy, once again, everyone else in the world is going to be making this video, but I hope this one was a bit different, gave you all the same information, but entertaining, not boring. So stay spicy my friends, stay saucy, and I'll see you in the next one, I think I've already said that twice now.